Okay, I believe this is about where we are in the big scheme of things. Quicksand Quandary. Ah, yes, the QQ level. The Chinese Instant Messenger level. Here we go. Ooh, very nice. Very Donkey Kong Country sounding music. I thought it was Donkey Kong Country at first, but it does not sound so much like that now. Oh, we got some foreground quicksand going on. How fast does this stuff take us down? Take me down to Quicksand City where the cactuses are green and the girls are not really all that pretty. Okay. Okay, the foreground quicksand may get annoying rather quickly, actually. Anything to do down here in Quicksand Town? Forget it, Jake. It's Quicksand Land! Well, that clearly wasn't going to ever work, ever. Okay, this is a weird-looking place. Doesn't use as many custom graphics, it looks like, as uh, previous levels have. Although I like the... Oh, well, I don't like the Venus Fire Trap that came from seemingly out of nowhere. He didn't come from out of nowhere. I just didn't see him. But I like the, uh, I like the willingness to use quicksand, like, quicksand cascades without, like, a border or anything. That's very... Adds a lot to the, uh, atmosphere there. Can I go in you? Of course not. Why would I think that? Already right on top of the face. That's how I like it! Hee hee hee! Okay, Quicksand is very aggressive in Super Mario Bros. X. I would probably be better served just avoiding it altogether. Da -da -da -da. Hmm, very tricksy. With the Venus Fire Traps, I can tell we're finally starting to use Piranha Plants to an actually decent end here. No, 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 this is exactly where this happened last time. Okay, good. Good, nothing, nothing bad. What's over here? Seriously, not a single dang thing over here that's, like, secret. Why would you even do that, then? I don't get it. That's silly to not have a secret back there if you're going to do some kind of hidey-hole thing like that. That's that's weird. This is also a weird little passage right here. Oh, I can tell this is never going to get old, ever. Uh-oh. I, uh, I dig the uh, Mario 3 recolor, though. Okay, how to do this most effectively? There we go. And the side ones never stop coming out, no matter what. Okay, swoopers coming in from above. Super cheap. I don't like that. I also don't like the apparent dearth of power-ups in this level, though. That has been fixed in the update, so they say. Uh, we will see about that, certainly. Anything over here? No. Why would there be? I just cannot satiate my need for secrets. I will always have to find secrets. I should probably be spin jumping a lot more in this place. A spin jump would probably serve me really well in the, uh, ah, checkpoint flag. Nectar of life brings me strength and renewal. Have I seriously only found, like, the one star coin so far, or was I missing one somewhere? No, that's, like, number two so far, so I feel like we're gearing up for a really long level. I also feel like somehow there's going to be a boss with quicksand involved. That's just, uh, call it a hunch, but I have a feeling there's going to be a boss in this very sort of sand temple type place. Ah, da -da, out of my face. I really am getting spoiled by the upward arc you can do on fireballs in Mario X, because when I play a regular Mario game, now, I've gotten hit so many times, you don't even know, just trying to do an upward arc on a fireball, and that just does not happen. See, that's so handy. So handy dandy. If I sink down here, what will this lead me to? Well, this is certainly a gigantic pit, but it appears to be just full of nothing. Full of oh sweet nothing. Um. Okay, why was I... Uh, okay, is there a power-up back here? There we go, that's... Oh, okay. We got a, we got a little Mr. Statue Man going on here. Now if I... Now, if I get stuck in the quicksand, that's an easy way to lose it very quickly. But if I... Is there actually any merit in going down there? I want to say no. You out of here. 
Uh, oh, I could watch this all day. There doesn't seem to be any apparent merit going down here, which is really strange to me because... Okay, why don't you all just walk off into the sand like the lemmings, like the sheeple that you are. Okay, there's another... Okay, I see. I gotcha. I get it. Nothing pipey going on back here? Okay. That's cool, too, I suppose. Um... Okay. Things are moving pretty briskly around here. Gotta be careful, though. Okay, yes. Back with the... Yeah, okay. That's just temporary slowdown. No guarantees that your shell is going to be gone forever if you dispose of it in such like fashion. Yeah, I give you three good pops on the booty. Just like Daddy used to when he made me choose my own Switch. I'm just kidding. I never got beat with a Switch. That would be pretty much horrible. That hasn't happened in quite some time in the world. Of when was the last time anybody actually had to go, like, cut their own Switch? Was this... I'm pretty sure might have persisted into, like, the... 70s maybe you might have even gotten a little bad a, a little a little bit bad of that in the 80s pre-internet era well weren't you a short level where I missed a star coin and thus deprived myself of a valuable one up well there you have it quicksand quandary not much I don't really have any quandaries about that particular level there wasn't a lot going on in it so not not much for curiosity. Not enough to kill a cat anyway. So, moving on, we got... <laughs> well, yes, that's kind of one of the hallmarks of a desert, is that it is deserted. Need 20 stars to enter this weird unmarked place. Does it have a name? Most of the other places have a name. It seems they forgot... I could have sworn that sign was not there earlier. The ghostly courtyard. Yeah, I think I'll take my chances with the uh, deserted desert. Or maybe the dessert desert. Is there candy around here? No, but that is some beautiful looking sand. Way to go. Okay, what is what music we got going on here? We got the Tanuki suit losing music of... This is from New Super Mario Brothers. I think this might be from New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Certainly sounds like it. It's either the DS one or the Wii one, but I'm leaning toward the uh, Wii one. Mostly because of the truncated wah, which is kind of... That's kind of a hallmark of the... ah. why'd you have to go with that ugly Venus fire trap? He's like, Dah! I'm a Venus fire trap! That's what I look like, brah! I just hate the way that thing looks. That's... I mean, I think I've... I'm pretty sure I've seen that graphic elsewhere, but I do not like it. And it doesn't really fit in with the whole... It doesn't really fit in with the Super Mario World look. I think that's what they're trying to go for there. But I would just throw in a Mario... I mean, you got the Mario 3 boxes right here anyway. And the cactuses and whatnot. So why not just throw in... I can probably not stand on you. And I should probably be looking for a P-Switch of some sort. That is what I should be looking for. Because if I don't find one, I'm hosed from this point forward. Oh, or I could find a spring that I didn't see the first time because I'm a lunatic. There we go. Numero uno. Numero uno starcoino. How do you like my Spanish one now, Miss Atkins? Uh, okay. Alright, and the clouds? Yeah, we got Mario 1 clouds going on, so why not just do it up with regular... Mario 3 Venus fire traps. It's it's all good. It's all fine. Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of some enemies. I'm going to have to do some enemy auditing. Worth it to be in the quicksand for a bit here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I pretty much saw that coming, but who could not have seen that coming a mile away? But fortunately, I got spares. I got spares. I got spares in my spares. I got a spare tire. Right there with my love handles. I need to... Okay, good thing I'm hanging on to you, because I would be really bad at this otherwise. Man, this quicksand, it has got quite a pull. <laughs> I, wa I love watching the fireball sink, though. That's cool. All right. Numero dos. Come on, Trace Leche. Where are you? 
Eee I I don't know. I couldn't commit to that. I don't know why. Anything? No, nothing special going on there, though, particularly. Goomba! Spiny! El Spinio! El Spinio donde esta al baño. La biblioteca. Pokey! Pokies in this game are weird, too. Pokies are really weird with the SMBX engine. Basically, I think out of the box, we get out of the box, you can just walk on top of their heads, which is a really strange design decision. Pretty much anyone with any sense makes it so that you have to, so that you have to spin jump on them if you don't want to get hurt. Nothing special over yonder way. So why don't we just pick up? Why don't we just pick up Los Tres Amigos here? And here we go. Okay, finally. Finally, the good stuff starts happening. I sense a distinct lack of midpoint, but I'm going to withhold judgment because I was about to say this level is really easy so far, but... Well, hello there, little mister. Hmm. No, again, that just looks cool. I'm not going to be fooled by anything like that. And I can just go right down in there if I want to. Unless there's an enemy of some sort. Okay, yeah, there's probably nothing special going on here. Oh, you're going to make me work for it, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Good to have a spare around, then. Nothing particularly cavey or... And it's not a very deserted desert, either. It's quite populated. I expect my deserted deserts to have no population whatsoever. They're like the abandoned fortress... In Mario 3, just no enemies whatsoever. This should be... Then that would be cool to have, like, an actual desert like that. Mario, bereft of any and all companionship whatsoever. Tries to find his way out of a merciless desert of mirages. That'd be neat. Well, that would have been quite a shock if I hadn't been holding a shell. Oh, well, though. Okay, so far... It appears the Ice Temple has been the only level to really give any problems. So, I haven't really seen the game get harder, except for that one time. So, I'm forced to conclude the Ice Temple must have been a mere fluke. Because, so far, everything... Okay, I thought I slowed down through that a little. Haha! <laughs> Fooled you! And I think that is Starcoin number 5 right there. Hello, baby! Ringing me up. Well, I just got a 1-up, so it's all good. Alright, moving on after grabbing a 1-up. That's always... Okay, these... Okay, you gotta stop putting a Koopa Troopa in front of a Bonsai Bill like that. It's... There's no surprise involved, and... Although there is now surprise involved now that I'm at the end of the level. That's it. Couple of really easy desert levels. Well... I liked the sand. I'll say that. That's an extremely pretty custom sand graphic. But it's back to the hub. And so we're done there. Next time we'll go on to uh, the ghostly courtyard. Sounds like a sequel of Haunted Grotto. Yeah, those, a couple of really just incidental... Incidental, that's a great word. Those were very incidental levels. Just... I guess they were deserty in a sense. You don't expect a lot to go on in a desert. But I can't be too hard on these levels now because I haven't played the update, so it's hard to make judgments at this point. Huh. Huh is all I have to say. Ghostly Courtyard next time. See you guys.